hi guys welcome back to my channel so excuse the messy hair guys i've kind of given up with my hair at the minute i'm not gonna lie it's just doing its thing um but yeah anyway as always guys i've got another halloween haul today i think this is gonna be it has to be another two-parter i'm really sorry but i might be able to split it into two parts to make it separate videos um instead of like part one part two um but anyway I'll start off with the snazzy shirt that I'm wearing. So this was from Pep & Co. I'm not actually sure how much this was. If I can remember how much things were, I'll try and leave it on screen. If not, then just comment down below or find my Instagram link in the description. You can um, DM me on Instagram or comment on my Instagram with any questions and I'm more than happy to answer them. But yeah, so I've got this snazzy shirt. It is a size medium. These are men's um shirts by the way i think all of the pep and co stuff for halloween this year is actually men's in my local i don't think there's any like women's stuff but obviously like men's stuff can be worn by both or like anyone so it's not a biggie um yeah so i got this button-up shirt i did order it in a medium obviously as i'm a woman i do need a bigger size for the hips it fits perfectly all up here but it doesn't really fit down by my hips so gonna have to exchange it for a bigger size but um but yes i love it i think it's very snazzy um yeah so i'll start off with something that i also got from like the pep and co clothing so i got a orange pumpkin jumper which is currently in the wash so if i can find one i'll leave a picture of it up on the screen somewhere for you guys um yeah and then for my cousins and i um i've got some cousins that live about half an hour away so i've got us some matching t-shirts so one of my cousins is um older than me she's almost 30 so i got us two the same boo crew t-shirt and then my little cousin which is her son he's um i think he's eight now um i also got him the matching one but in a kid's size so we can all have matching t-shirts and someone um i want to drive over there and um like take us out i don't know if whitehall if you live in the uk whitehall tends to do like seasonal things i don't know if they're doing anything for halloween this year if they are we might put on our matching t-shirts and go they don't know what i've bought them they don't know that i've got the matching t-shirts and stuff but hey it's all good fun i saw this orange storage box it was the last one as well i just felt like i had to have it because at the moment um my halloween treat bag stuff is all just like gathered in the corner and i've bought some nice like um treat bags well i use them as like tote bags or like shopping bags but they're actually meant to be like trick or treat bags um you'll have seen it in my first poundland haul of 2022 um and it's all still in there and i want to put those in the car for when i go out halloween shopping um so i got this box from pep and co be warned on the shelf it said three pounds they charged me £7 at the checkout. I nearly said, like, oh, actually, I'll leave it. But I love it. It's an orange box. And it's got little, like, it's got, like, a rib design in it. It just reminds me of a pumpkin. I love it. So I've got it for my treat bag stuff. Um, yeah. Also, guys, by the way, I passed my driving test. So we can buy boxes and things now. Um, but, yeah, I'm pretty sure in my last video I would have mentioned, like, my driving test is soon. We passed, we did it, we can go spooky shopping properly now, guys. Yes. Um, yeah, so I've got this box. By the way, if you are going to buy a box from Pep & Co, the lids don't also fit very well. They're not very secure. They do, like, slip off sometimes. But like I said, I've just bought it to go in the corner so that my Halloween stuff um, for my treat bags isn't just, like, piled up. Um, just so that it looks a bit nicer. I completely forgot about these. Um, the guy at the checkout kind of, like, threw them in the box, so I think they're probably a bit squished now. But I got pumpkin patch cakes. I'm not really a big like chocolate cake person, but they've got pumpkins on. So we bought them. These were in Poundland. I'm guessing they were a pound. I'm not going to lie. I didn't really look when I bought these. Now I got this garland for, as well from Poundland, which is like this kind of like witchy theme, like celestial theme. So I got this. I got two of them because they're 1.6 metres long. But I'm just thinking if I use them outside, it might get a bit soggy and I have to go in the bin or whatever or if i want to use two of them i've got two you know and i'm glad because when i went into my poundland um the other day there wasn't any in there so yeah i've got that by the way guys um i haven't made a film video for ages because i've been working 
non-stop and I had my driving lessons my driving tests and it's just been so like crazy in my life but this morning we tested positive for covid so now I've got a few days off here so I can do some stuff but that's why I'm a little bit all over the place today like I don't really know what I'm talking about and my hair's all over the place because we got the covid brain guys uh but yeah so I thought those would be cool for like a youtube background or something yeah and then I got two boxes of these paint your own like character what would these be like hanging ornaments um because I got these um I got two boxes I got one box for my little cousin and one box for me um uh, because I think these will look really cool like maybe hanging off my bookcase or even hang them on the Christmas tree I was more thinking um so yeah and my little cousin he loves to paint stuff so I got him this as well um because like I said I tend to do him a bit of like a Halloween gifty thing so I've got him a few bits to do a little gift box or something together with but yeah he will love this sort of thing he always loves it and these are three pound a box as well by the way um I found these right at the back so have a little dig when you go to Poundland and then I do have a couple more of these but they're in the other bag, so we'll find them in a minute. But they're the paint your own tea light holders. I bought these last year as well. They, they had skulls and pumpkins last year, whereas this year they have cats and ghosts. Um, I did also buy the pumpkin one this year, but I'm not sure if that would have been left over from last year or if they're still doing those this year. But yeah, so I've got a cat one for Kobe, my little cousin. And then I've got um this little ghosty guy. I love him. He's so cute. And then, yeah, I got the pumpkin. Um, like, these are the same as last year's ones. I don't know if this is left over from last year or if they're doing these again. I think they must be doing them again because on the back, it's got different colours and different pumpkin faces on. But this one's the same pumpkin face as last year. So I'm not sure. It might be one left over from last year that they put in a different box. Or they might just be doing the same as last year. I don't know. And then again in Poundland, see the last couple of years they've done the tea light holders that have been like metallic. And I've got, I think I've got one of them, but like I'm not a fan. And this year I saw these ones that are like proper traditional looking pumpkins with a nice shiny glaze on them. And I thought he looked so cute, guys. You guys know how much I love pumpkins. So he had to come home with me. Uh, yeah, I got him. There's only two left, so I got one and left the other one there. And then you guys also know that I love like hanging signs and I love the black and orange. Black and orange is just my favourite theme for Halloween. So I got this one, it's got like the little apothecary vibe with the little potion bottles and the happy Halloween with a cauldron on it. Um, I It came untied, all I've got to do is tie it back on. Um, and then I've also got this one. I also, I also got this one because like... It's got skulls on it, and I think it looks really nice. So, in my other background over there where I've got, like, the corner shelves and stuff, if you guys watch me, you'll know what I'm talking about. I think I'm going to try and use these over there. And then, I'll just show you this one pack, but I bought four packs of these for my treat bags. You would have seen this last year in my haul as well. Um, these four pack of skeletons are pound fifty, I think, in Poundland. Um, but I love them, they're so cute. However, I will say that this year, they are like moulded skeletons because I've got one of last year's ones here. And I must say, last year's ones were much better quality. Like, you can actually move their legs in the ones from last year. Um, whereas these ones are just solid, um, like, skeleton figures, which is fine. Um, but I'm definitely glad I kept one from last year's treat bags now. Um, so he can actually sit on my shelf. And then I've got two packs of creepy cloth or freaky fabric because I want to put some up here. So the wall behind my bookcase, um, I haven't got around to painting it yet. I've run out of paint. So I want to put some creepy cloth along the back there to kind of shroud it a little bit and make it a bit more spooky. And I also tend to hang it over my porch as well just to add that extra little bit of like... I don't really know what to call it, just to kind of add that little bit more like creepy, sort of ominous looking vibe to the porch. I also got two packs of the popping candy sachets. Again, I bought these last year because they're Halloween themed packs. 
Um, so this is 13 a pack for a pound. I bought two packs because I have got quite a lot of treat bag stuff this year. And Halloween is on a Friday this year, guys. So I'm hoping we're going to get plenty of trick-or-treaters coming out. Then I got three packs of these. Um, I just saw these and thought these were quite funky, really. Um, there's six in a pack. You can, they're like, um, like serrated so you can tear them off. Um, and they're creepy, what are they called? Creepy jellies by Vidal. I love the Vidal sweets. Um, there's, they always just do such nice sweets. Um, and there's like spiders, there's, I think that's a moth, a scorpion. Um, yeah, so I got three packs of those. So those can go in treat bags. And then for my little cousin, I got these little lanterns. When I was a little kid, I used to love like pumpkin lanterns. But um, the pumpkin items looked a little bit basic this year from Poundland. But I saw these. They're little like green and grey like splattered lanterns. And they've got bat stickers on so he can stick his own bats on them. Or he can just keep the bat stickers if he doesn't want to stick them on there. I just saw those and thought of him and thought they were really cute. Um, so yeah, I think there's two. Yeah, there's two in a pack. And then I've also got a couple of mugs. These mugs are from Wilco's, by the way. So I got the Wilco's Ghosty Mug and the Wilco's Pumpkin Mug. The past couple of years, I've been searching so hard in my local Wilco's for these mugs and they haven't done mugs until this year. And I'm so excited. We literally walked into Wilco's and I was like, I have to have it. So yeah, I got one of each. This year, my mug obsession is getting a bit out of hand, considering I'm not really a hot drink kind of person, but oh well. <laughs> and then these final few pieces are also from Poundland. Um, so I got two of these skull dinner plates. Um, I've been really wanting some Halloween plates, but I can't find any that don't like the ones that I can find the design is like all over them and I don't really like that. I quite like the ones with a nice border on. Um, and so these were from Poundland. I think these were about £3 each. But they are ceramic and they are dishwasher safe as well. Um, so yeah, I really like those. And then I also got this little cauldron wax burner. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think I'm going to burn wax in it. Um, it says that you can. So, you know, I don't see why not. But I bought it more as a little ornament to go with my, like, witchy vibe. Um, because last year, Poundland did the cauldron candles. I don't know if they do these this year. I haven't actually seen them this year. But I don't know if that's because I'm not looking for them. And then I got a jar. You guys might know that I've been on a hunt for jars this year. Because I want to set up my own little spooky area of the kitchen. With, like, snack jars and things. So this was in Poundland. Their theme this year seems to be the like love heart skull and crossbones. But they had, with this design on it, they had sippy cups. They had jars, bowls, plates, little pat, like platters, wine glasses. Um, I'm not sure if they had mugs. I can't No, The mugs this year are pumpkins and cauldrons in Poundland. But yeah, and just take the tissue paper off and they have a nice little seal around it so they look really nice i really like those and then i did see final bits but i was wrong um i've got this little i want to say it's a cookie jar but it's really not because it doesn't have a seal on it it is just like a kind of jar um so it's more of like a sweetie jar but all of my halloween treat bag sweets this year are individually wrapped so I thought I could put those all into this jar and it would look really nice on my shelf. Especially this last year I had quite a few left over. Like I said, this year Halloween is a Friday. So hopefully I won't have too much left over. But yeah, I really love this. Or like I might put it on my kitchen side with like cereal bars, breakfast bars and like things like that in it as well. It would look really cool. But uh, yeah, this is from Wilco's by the way. And then finally, I have this pumpkin spice latte glazed candle. This is the like limited edition autumn one. Um, I got it in the bigger one, which is a 224 gram um, because I love like caramel coffee, spice coffee scented candles. But when I buy my like Halloween candles, like they tend to be more for my collection. So I don't really like burning them. But this one is just a plain 
like glass jar with the orange candle in so obviously I don't mind burning this one. I also got these um, gummy monster mix sweets by Vidal. I got these because I love gummy like jelly sweets. Not just gummy sweets, I love the jelly ones. And these are so good. I bought two bags of these. I bought one for me and one for my little cousin. I've already eaten half of my bag and I've left it in the car because I don't want to sit here and eat a whole bag today. So yeah, um, I really like these. I'm definitely going to go back and get some more bags of these. All right, guys, that is my haul for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really sorry, but like towards the end, I was really struggling there, like trying not to cough. Um, but yeah, so that is that is the haul. It's a bit of an odd one. I don't really know what's going on right now, guys. COVID's really made my head all funny and I'm struggling to speak, but here we are. So yeah, I also do want to get my treat bag video filmed today. Um, just because I really want to start putting things together for them a little bit now. I've got tons of stuff over there for my treat bags. Um, and also obviously I've bought some bits for my little cousin. So I want to get that all up together and put that in the car so that that's ready for whenever I can pop down and see him. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I really apologise for how kind of weird this video has been in the sense that I haven't really spoken about things. I've just sort of shown you them. Um, just because my throat feels really weird today. It's really hard to speak for too long. Um, but yeah, if you guys do want to see more pictures of my stuff that I have in my hauls, pictures, I always post pictures of like the shelves in the shops that I go into when I find Halloween stuff. So especially if you're UK based, go follow me on Instagram because I post all the stuff places that I find, even if I only find a couple of items, I always post it on there to let you guys know so that you can go out and find whatever you want for Halloween. Um, I also post like my haul pictures, my outfit pictures, all that kind of good stuff. So definitely go follow me on Instagram for more. And yeah, everything you guys need will be in the description below. All my links, um, playlist links, video links, just a general like me talking a bit more about today's video in the description as well. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.